I'm gonna have a celebration because this is live entertainment. So the same energy y'all give us, we gonna get y'all right back. You understand? Right. And I want that energy for each and every person that comes to the stage. So help us help you. You understand? Yeah. All right, before we start the roast, y'all know what the roast is? Yeah. All right, I know roast is the man. He walking around here with his little tight ass John Legend suit on and shit. That motherfucker is hugging. You know when you got a nut stuck to each side, that motherfucker is tight. Walk got a camel foot suit on. I ain't never seen a nigga with a camel foot suit. See, I'm gonna take all my shots and walk because I know when he get up here, he gonna get me. Walk out, the only person in Baltimore that can go joke for joke with me. So, that's it. So listen, the rose is, you crack on the person, you give it to him, it's no hose bar, it's gloves off. So I only want nobody getting offended when you come up here. If I slide your ass, it's all jokes. You get, you get me when you come up here, that's what you do. I don't know if y'all familiar with like the old tradition roast like Dean Martin and Don Rickles and all those guys. I'm telling my age. I don't know what the fuck a roast is. Y'all little young asses. Y'all still think high five is old school. Y'all don't know shit. You say old is right now, motherfuckers is like, who is that? Can he fuck her and talk me? Y'all had no idea what the fuck I'm talking about right now. All right, so that's what the roast is. Right, Walt? Walt oh, just two motherfuckers. Cool, man. God damn, the temperature go down and walk, walk past. And I'm gonna do some of Walt's songs for y'all. Because Walt is like the R&B porno champ. Like all his songs is nasty as shit. Y'all been listening to Walt's songs like, you couldn't even say the title on the radio. Like, I'm gonna suck your left nipple to the right nipple, get jealous. Like he got songs like that. Put my dick in your ear and fuck what you heard. You know, we got classes. Two monkeys fucking. Just crazy stuff. And y'all know all Walt songs too, don't y'all? Y'all be singing right along with that. All right. You good, son? You straight? All right, so on the count of three, we're gonna wish Walt a happy birthday. And then I'm gonna do the reintroduction because y'all sitting here dead as shit. All right, one, two, three. That was fucked up. It's like we got a room full of white people. Y'all motherfuckers know how to double dutch. You know when to get in. Y'all like, y'all ain't know what to say. Like, uh, half of y'all was saying happy birthday. All I had was saying walk. Like, what the fuck? All right, let's try this again. You understand? Black people, we got some white people in here. So don't embarrass me. Let them know we can stick together. <laughs> At least on the fucking birthday wish, okay? <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Happy birthday, Paul! All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage, you might have seen this brother on BT Common View. Here's over for Tommy Davidson, Seth the Entertainer, Mike Epps, Paul Mooney, and a whole bunch of other motherfuckers that won't be here tonight. <laughs> He is here to represent for his boy, his main Apple Scrapple. Some people think we related. We might be, because our father's probably was players. Please give it up for the comedy styles and your master of ceremonies and Walt's friend, Larry Lancaster. Yeah, hog. Motherfucker start dancing, look like the painting from Good Times. In this <laughs> Hate to cut music off on black people when they dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hot in this motherfucker. Y'all hot? I want to take my jacket off, but I don't want to fuck my outfit up. <laughs> now you had your shit playing down to the shoes. So I ain't I gotta match it. Give it up for Matthew out there, man. Matthew out there doing this thing. Y'all know who Matthew is? This is the guy that asked for your ID. I think Matthew has crazy. Y'all be thinking the same thing? I think Matthew come in here and do his poetry and he got a bitch in the trunk tied up. I always thought that about Matthew when he was out there doing his poetry and there's a chick kicking the trunk. <laughs> 
that motherfucker just look crazy. Like, something wrong with them motherfuckers just being a little off. He be trying to stay in touch with you. You be like, all right, all right, look me up on Facebook. You be trying to haul ass out the door. <laughs> and I'm gonna say something to my to my lesbian sisters. We welcome y'all. We see you got a little floor tree section. Y'all always when the poetry and lesbianism like go hand to hand like when did y'all when did poetry and lesbians just start getting married and shit i'm trying to figure this shit out and i'm trying to figure out how is it you walk around and like look real butch and hard and macho which is cool if that's what you do but then you get in fucking free for ladies night like i don't really appreciate that shit i think it's fucking unfair if you want to walk around like you got a dick bigger than mine then bitch you want to be treated like a man, then when I'm in the motherfucking line playing, and then all of a sudden, you know, you want to walk in all daily so you can get in free and shit. I don't appreciate the shit. You challenging niggas to own wrestling matches, but you get in fucking free. You walk around with comfortable shoes on and khaki pants and flannel fucking shirts, and you should pay $10. got a beautiful woman with you to my lesbian sisters. Don't get mad when the brothers look at your girl ass. I'm tired of that shit. It's bad enough, I gotta deal with that with the brothers, you know. You ever see the insecure dude? Y'all ever see that motherfucker at the mall? His girl ass fat as shit. She look like she got pampers on. And they walk past and you look and he looking right the fuck at you like, damn nigga. At least wait until you walk past shit. That's what the lesbians do. They look at me like I'm wrong. Like I'm wrong for looking at a fat ass. I'm doing what the fuck I supposed to do. It's in the Bible. The man's supposed to look at a fat ass. I don't know what chapter or what verse, but I think it's Ephesians or something like that. It's Galatio 3, 16. doing some shit you ain't supposed to do. I should be looking at your ass. I supposed to look at her ass, okay? And don't think because you dress down that you still ain't cute because some of the lesbians, I fuck the shit out you too. Don't think because you look like Allen Iverson. You can mash your titties down and put your hand in little braids and look like the brat. I still see the potential in your little ass. And I fuck the shit out you. If you slip, one day you're going to slip, you're going to... I'm gonna fuck you and your girlfriend. Just don't sleep, okay? Walking around like you fucking Vin Rames. I had your ass running around the house like Aunt Edith Barker in this motherfucker. I'm serious. See, when you look at me, they try to size me up. See, fucking with me is like fucking a Toyota Prius. I don't look dangerous. <laughs> But when you take me for a ride and I don't stop, you get out that motherfucker like, woo, that motherfucker trying to kill me. And for you motherfuckers who don't watch the news, look at who laughing, asking what the fuck I said. You allowed to look on the other person's paper for this test, okay? Some of y'all are like, Toyo the Prince, what the fuck are you talking about? They ain't even get the fucking joke. <laughs> Sirs, I like your ass up. See, and I don't lie on my dick size. Brothers be lying, tell my dick I go to the hardware store to buy condoms and shit. Nope. That ain't my dick. It ain't like